Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be replacing the case fans on my computer. I've actually got the Deepcool RF120. It's a three pack of RGB fans. I know there's no great guides on YouTube on how to install these, so we're just going to jump into it. Alright, so let's check out what we've got in the box here. We have the manual obviously, but the big thing here is that we have three Deepcool 120mm RGB fans. They're very solidly built, definitely better than the up here fans I previously had. The price difference wasn't large. The up here fans were about 33 Canadian dollars, while these are about $40 Canadian at the time of purchase. Here we have the fan hub. We connect all the fans into here and we plug it into the motherboard to control the speed and the power. Then we have a cable used to daisy chain the RGB to the three fans if you have a 12 volt RGB header on your motherboard. If you don't have an RGB header, you need this controller. It has buttons for the speed of the lighting effects and the lighting mode. It connects to your fans on one end and into SATA power from your power supply on the other end. We have four screws per fan. Note that the fans are not pre-threaded and this is typical. You need to thread them yourself using these screws, which I'll talk about more shortly. One of the more difficult concepts for most people when installing case fans is determining which cables go where. Each of these three fans have the same three cords coming out of them. There is a male header with the middle clip, a female connector with wings on the side, and the typical four pin PWM connector that would typically connect to your motherboard. So the key to installing these fans is that you're going to be daisy chaining the RGB cables. So the male connector with the middle clip that I noted earlier connects with the female connector with the wings on the next fan. And so you're going to do that for two connections. And eventually you're going to use that extra cable that they provided. What this does is allows you to connect all your fans to a single RGB header on your motherboard. So I'm just going to show you how to wire these fans. First of all, let's take the four pin female PWM fan connector and connect it to the fan hub. Make sure that the bracket aligns with the little bracket connector on the fan hub itself. Do this for all three of your fans. After you do that, all three of your case fans are still going to have two loose cables hanging out of them. What you're going to do is you're going to take the female connector with the wings from the first fan and connect it to the male connector with the middle clip on your next fan and do that for the next connection as well. Once you've connected all three fans to your fan hub and you've daisy chained the RGB cables between your three fans, you'll need the additional cable provided by Deepcool to connect it to your motherboard. Connect the female connector on the last fan in the daisy chain to the male connector on this additional cable. The female end on this cable will connect to your 12 volt RGB header on your motherboard. Another common concern when installing case fans is which orientation to install them in. So you'll find that on a lot of fans that they've actually printed arrows directing the airflow on the fan. Typically you want intake on the front and exhaust on the top and the back. And so you're, when you're looking at the arrows, you want air going into your case from the front, out the back and out the top. And so that's how you'll orient your fans. The screw inserts on the fans are not pre-threaded. The screws that come with the fans actually help you thread the holes. So I recommend you screw them into the inserts outside of the case, as it takes quite a bit of force. This will make it easier to install the fans inside the case later. Now I've got my fans installed in my case. The three fans are connected to the fan hub and they're daisy chained together. The female connector on the last fan goes into the additional cable like I mentioned earlier, and the female end of the additional cable will go into the 12 volt RGB header on the motherboard. Now connect the RGB cable to the 12 volt RGB header and the fan hub to the system fan header. So here I've got everything installed, everything's plugged in. I'm going to do the first boot and we can take a look at the RGB. My first impression is that the RGB looks really good. It's definitely better than the up here fans I used to have. Uh, the lighting is bright, it's consistent, and I can control it consistently with my RGB fusion software on my motherboard as well. I have no complaints at all. Here's just another shot of me cycling through the colors that are available. And that's it for the video. If you have any questions or you have any suggestions on how I can improve my videos, feel free to drop those in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.